Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand, and this is chapter 10 of Let's Get This Done, uh, Cutting Ties with the Past. And I've been doing a lot of work lately on um, my traumas, my past um, traumas in life, as far as mostly like little girl traumas that I've had, um, and how they affect me today, like how they make it where I just don't feel like I have a voice or I don't feel like I fit in or I don't feel like I belong or I don't feel as if I matter. Um, and that's like a lifetime sentence that I've had um, ever since I was little. And so um, this chapter has been all about finding your voice Finding who you really are, not letting other people define you, and um, and and that like depending on your faith that everything is going to be just fine in the end. Everything's going to come together, and everything's going to just turn out um, the way that it was intended to turn out, and. There's just blessings all around us, and um, there's goodness all around us, and pure hearts, and and people, pure-hearted people, and like-minded people, and um, that I am supported and I am accepted in this world, and um, I think that I'm finding more and more, you know, Phil is like a kindred spirit to me more and more kindred spirits in my life where, you know, you just meet them going, boy, you just seem like so familiar to me. I don't know why I know you. I've never met you before, but it feels like I've known you before. So those types of friendships um, I'm really looking forward to having in my life and, um, you know, finding the people that um, want to be with me rather than the people who are like dead set against me and want to make me feel bad about myself. So, so yeah, so that was what this chapter was all about. This whole game is starting and we are in the right mindset. We're in the right atmosphere, we're the right temperature, we're in the right environment. And it's going to go the way that God intends it to go. And we all know how the story ends. You know, God comes out on top. And um, so this is kind of interesting to me to see how my life is going to play out in God's plan. So, all right. So this is the um, Angel Tarot Cards. And... I've said in the past that I believe God is um, using that as a tool to help me through my life. And I know a lot of people don't believe in, in tarot, but um, I just find it to be kind of fascinating to find the messages that can come to us from, you know, those people around us that love us and guide us and and are are leading the path before us. So, oh, I forgot to check the bottom card. Um, the moon card, that's the card that I had picked, and it says Archangel Haniel, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So that is kind of what I was talking about, about releasing the fears that hold us back. Um, and again, I, I forgot to look at the bottom card, but I was going to just pick two more cards. So, we'll do this one. The Three of Air. Great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself and others. See, even the, the sad cards, the, the ones with great sadness, means you're healing. You're, you, there's always like an upside to whatever card we pick. Um, there's such healing involved with sadness, great sadness. And the King of Air, and um, it says brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. 
Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. So that is wonderful because when you deal with trauma work, you have to really keep a balanced mind and keep a balanced um, mindset. So, um, yeah. So those were the cards for today. And uh, this is completing the chapter. So let the game begin. That's the next, uh, <laughs> that's what it's going to be the, for the next chapter. Let the game begin. All right. Have a good one. Bye.